Hello, this is Robert Berry, registered clinical exercise physiologist with Henry Ford Hospital Preventive Cardiology, and we're talking about anatomy, part one. This is the first session of our series, and we're discussing coronary anatomy and heart disease. The heart is a pump that circulates blood, oxygen, and other nutrients to the body. There are four parts or chambers of the heart muscle. The top chambers of the heart are the atria, and the lower chambers are the ventricles. Both the atria and the ventricles are further divided into right and left sides. Each chamber of the heart has a different job. Used or deoxygenated blood returns to the heart via the veins to the right atrium. It then travels to the right ventricle and is pumped over to the lung where it picks up oxygen. This freshly oxygenated blood returns to the heart in the left atrium and is then pumped out to the rest of the body by the left ventricle. The left ventricle is the main pumping chamber of the heart. These are the main coronary arteries. Each of these arteries also has smaller branches. The right coronary artery supplies blood to the back and underside of the heart. The left main coronary artery quickly divides into the left circumflex and left anterior descending arteries. The circumflex artery supplies the back or posterior of the heart and the left anterior descending artery supplies the front or anterior of the heart including most of the left ventricle. Coronary artery disease is caused by damage to the lining or intima of the blood vessel. This allows cholesterol filled cells to get in between the layers of the blood vessel walls where it can cause inflammation and plaque. This inflammation and plaque can cause the blood vessel to narrow limiting blood flow to the heart tissue further downstream. Risk factors for coronary artery disease are either modifiable or non-modifiable. Modifiable risk factors are those that can be controlled by lifestyle change, such as eating a healthier diet, getting regular exercise, practicing stress management, and taking your medication as your doctor prescribes. Non-modifiable risk factors are things you can't control, like age, gender, and family history. This concludes our session on coronary anatomy and heart disease. Thanks for your attention.